I was very excited about The Big Good Wolf because when Disney does The Three Little Pigs and The Big Bad Wolf, I am very excited. Certainly in the 30s, early 40s, Disney played with The Big Bad Wolf as a character quite a lot. And actually, really interestingly, even though the wonderful world of Mickey Mouse style of animation is not that much like Mickey Mouse, at least the Mickey Mouse that I grew up with, the style of the Big Bad Wolf in this episode is quite a lot like the original Big Bad Wolf. And that was something I was very happy about. To be honest, this episode wasn't as good as I had hoped, but by no means was it bad. I think I just maybe put the Big Bad Wolf on a pedestal and that was my own problem. But it's still enjoyable. It's episode 6, released in 2020, directed by Jason Riker. And in this one, Mickey Mouse suddenly realises that the Big Bad Wolf is a bad person. He begins to think that actually he's a good person, but he realises quite quickly that he is just being friendly and kind to lure Mickey into a trap. And Mickey takes it upon himself to try and turn that around and make the Big Bad Wolf um, a good person. What I really like about this is that we have... <laughs> First of all, I like the trophy. Um, the trophy, the award, very much amused me. But we have some fantastic bits of animation with um, including some classic Disney characters. There's one of the like original style of Goofy and that just made me so happy because it definitely harks back to the classic days of Disney around the time when they were using the Big Bad Wolf as a character quite a lot. So as a very big fan of the classic series and the classic shorts, I found this to be quite fun. Let's say I'd never seen any of the classics and this was my first look at Disney's attempt at the Big Bad Wolf. I would say it's okay. I like the way he interacts with other characters. I like the design of the Big Bad Wolf. The voice is very brilliantly provided by Clancy Brown. And the way Mickey interacts with the wolf I think is quite cute because that is certainly something that Disney didn't do back in the day. It was always, usually always, the Big Bad Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. And... If you haven't seen any of those shorts, I definitely recommend them. They are oh, they're splendid. They're a lot of fun, especially the propaganda ones. The one where the wolf is basically standing in as a representation of Nazi Germany. It's just bizarre, but it's incredible to watch. Um, but the big good wolf, I like. I did like it as a concept. I think the animation was very good. The narrative presents itself very well. And the character of the wolf, I really enjoyed. It doesn't live up to my ridiculous expectations, but that's not a fault of the episode. The Big Good Wolf is definitely a lot of fun and worth watching.